Yeah. All right. Um, my story is I'm Kevin Green, okay. founder and CEO of Uplifted Men 2 Incorporated. We are not for profit 501c corporation. What Uplifted Men is about is helping real men and real women do real things. Gotcha. We accept brothers and sisters just freshly out of incarceration from out of the homeless shelters, rebuilding their lives. Um, we put them in, our, in brand new houses. Mm -hmm. We enroll them in substance abuse groups. We enroll them in job training. We assist them with employment. And our ultimate goal is to place them into permanent housing. We was just uh, visited by New York City Division of Human Rights. And they visited 50 other facilities that does the, well, try to do or similar mm -hmm. to do the things that we're doing. And we was ranked number one in the quality of services that we provide for the clients and the quality of living that we provide for the clients. The facilities are all clean. The clients keep them clean. They're happy here. Mm. So what does uplifting men mean to you? What is one? How do you define? Uplifting men means a second chance to help you get your th help you get your life back on track. Yeah. Yeah. Homeless yeah. The New York City's homeless population is a is a really a problem. Yeah, yeah. But to be honest with you, homelessness is designed to never end because you will raise the prices of housing. How can you place these people in affordable housing when they can't get a job or have the skills to train them? so they can afford to get the, uh, an apartment. So it's, 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 a, it's a game with, that yeah. the city plays with the homeless, with raising the numbers, lowering the numbers, yeah. not giving accurate count. But then, as someone that worked in the New Yorks, in the shelter system, I see firsthand, I saw firsthand what goes on in the shelter system. We're, We're in East New York, Brooklyn, on the okay. corner of Pickin and Miller. Okay. At Uplifting Men 2, Daniel Banks facility, Roof House 2 facility, and the Charles Willis facility. We're going to go in now into the Roof House facility. Okay. This here, can y'all turn that down a little bit? <laughs> this here is. Let me guess. This here is our clients right, that please. are a little more advanced. <laughs> in, in, in their process. Uh, this is their living room. This is their living room. They have a computer. They have DVD. Uh, this is one bedroom. How you doing? How are you? Yeah. Then this is their bathroom. This is their bathroom. Cool. Awesome. This is another room. Oh, this is the bathroom too. And this has another bathroom. It's lovely. <laughs> uh, and this is their kitchen. <laughs> They're very clean. They're very neat. Yeah. They are role models <laughs> for the other clients like that come in behind take them. donations of food because yeah. they all have a kitchen refrigerator. <laughs> they cook in their own units. Uh, only thing, uh, HRA assists us with the rent. We don't charge them no utility fee. Only thing we ask them is five dollars once a month to buy cleaning supplies for a major GI. We do a major GI at once yeah, a month. Uh, Mr. Green, I was fortunate enough to go with him on the convention, which it was my first. And like he said, he treated us with respect and love and one of the most beautiful times I had in being sober and clean. Hmm. Plus, I must say this is my first to record a house I've ever been in and Mr. Green's a man of his word and I feel comfortable here. I have great roommates and he's a great guy. Thank you. want to say something? Names are honest as far as uh, my expectations were concerned. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, I must say it's beyond, as far as caring, compassion, uh, in all aspects as a matter of fact, I'm conti co totally content here. Okay. Now, man on the hall, man How are you? on the hall. How are you doing? This is Root House 2. Okay. Uh, this is the second facility that I named after my mother to honor my mother. Okay. And this is Ms. Crawford. Hi, right, Ms. Crawford. Happy, Happy holidays. Holiday. Turnover since Mr. Green took over. Cool, man. He got it. Really was, huh? He cleaned it up. He cleaned it up. He cleaned up the people. How bad was it? He cleaned up the bed bugs. Yes. Bad. It was really bad. It was oh, bad really? when we had bed bugs and they didn't even care. We had no heat, no nothing. Mm. You had anybody coming living in here. Yeah. 
And then pick them out the street. Come off the ground and come on in here. Yeah. Yes. People were using they didn't care. In here, out here, what? selling in here, everything. He cleaned it all out. They were selling drugs, the pills, the cigarettes. He cleaned it out. They were hanging out in front of the building. When you come, you're scared to come. He cleaned this. Why do you think they didn't care before? Why do you think they ain't? Because it was about money. He had a uh, man here and all he was worried about was checks. The only time he came here, if your rent wasn't being paid. Other than that, we had a complaint about the toilet, we had a complaint about the bed bugs, because he had these nasty mattresses. We told him, come in, please look. I had bites all over my arm. Oh, well, I know what you mean. It's horrible. It's yeah, horrible. Yeah. Yes. Well, happy holidays, y'all. Yeah, same to you, too. Yeah, God bless you. Great, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. I can go and get my camera now. Yeah, since we've been here, yeah. you can look up and down. The side of the block is clean, and by us constantly going to the community board, New York City Police Department installed cameras across the city. Really? Okay. And gotcha. I make it my business to come to the community board every month and let them know about the change that I'm trying to do here in the community. Yeah, man, it seems like the big. You do seem like you made a huge difference. I try. Man. It's funny, support is one thing, giving them houses is another, but right. making it feel like a home is another. Yeah. And that's, that's what they what were I'm saying. They were giving housing, but it wasn't a home. No, yeah. it wasn't. It, it, it was a drug then. Yeah. It was, you know, it was a place that a person that had these facilities, he didn't care. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and see what makes a difference for me. You can be multicultural, you can be white, black, Hispanic. It doesn't make a difference to me. We all human. We all one. We all God's child. That's true. It's not about the money for me because I'm broke. <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. There's my, something, there's something special about being are, happy and being broke. My clients are happy. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Mm. See, you know, when when you do it from your heart, the devil can't get next to you. And there's a lot of them out here. Sure. And, I, and I stick close to God. You know, New York State Division of Parole entrusts mm. me. They parole them to me straight from the prisons. A lot of people coming straight from prison they to you? They straight to the prisons because they know the compassion. They know once they get to uplift the men along with to Kevin Green, we ain't got to worry. Yeah. I mean, these guys comply. They do what they need to do. Hmm. They're happy because they're comfortable here. Hmm. Do you feel a lot of responsibility? Well, Knowing that they, they, uh, they've been trusting you to, you know what? to handle that transition? I vibe with them. They feel my spirit, I feel their spirit. And they, and they, Mr. Green, what you need me to do? Mr. Green, I got it. Mr. Green, I'm gonna do what I need to do. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. See, cause I read, I walked out of the doors of the New York State Correctional Facility. Okay. Myself, not July 18th, 1998. Mm. Now I do go into the prisons, but I go in to reach out to help others and bring them out. Yeah. And I, as soon as I get back, I sit down at the computer and I write them a letter, letting them know that once upon your release, Yes. You're more than welcome to come, and I'm going to have a bed for you. Yes. I just had a brother come home last week after doing 17 years. He ain't stopped smiling yet. Today yes. I gave him a brand new suit. Mm. Uh, I had representatives here today from Arthur Kill Correctional Facility because they believe in what we're doing. It's about a different, real men. Let me say it again. Real, real, real men do real things. That's no joke, dude. It's I hate not you. joke, brother. I'm inspired. <laughs>